Hi. In this video, we'll be learning about formatting text on our HTML web pages. So we've been learning HTML, and right now we know how to build standard web pages, which is awesome. But now things are going to get a little bit better because we're going to add some style. That way our pages will look nicer and it's going to attract a lot more visitors to our websites. So how are we going to add this style? Well, introducing HTML formatting. Turns out HTML provides several tags for us to format our text on our web pages. The first tag that lets us format text on our web pages is the P tag. Now P stands for a paragraph of text. So for example, if I had this HTML, paragraph one inside a P tag and then paragraph two inside a P tag, the result would look like this. Notice that there is an automatic line break or an automatic new line after a paragraph tag. If I were to take the paragraph tags out, then the resulting web page would end up looking like this, because in HTML, any new lines, any white space, are just interpreted as a space. So if we want paragraph one and paragraph two to be on separate lines, we can add back in the p tags and we separate out the paragraphs. So that's nice. HTML lets us separate out our paragraphs. Next we have the i tag, and the i tag stands for italicized. So this lets us italicize text. For example, if I wanted to really stress that something was important, I could put an i tags around it, and it would show up as italic in the resulting web page. Next we have the B tag, which bolds text. For example, if I had I'll be back with back inside the Bs, then back would show up as bold on the resulting web page. Next we have the HR tag, and this one's interesting. So HR stands for horizontal rule. Now the HR tag doesn't actually have a closing tag. We don't have a backslash HR tag. All we use is HR and it creates a horizontal line on the screen. For example, say I had a paragraph above, then an HR tag, no closing tag, and then a below paragraph. The resulting web page would look like this. We have a nice horizontal bar across the entire web page. Now for line breaks. If we use the BR tag or the break tag, that makes a line break or a new line on the resulting web page. Now this is another weird one that doesn't have a closing tag. All we do is type BR, the BR tag, and we get a blank line on the screen. So for example, Say I was trying to write out the address, P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, Australia. If I put all of that inside a paragraph, it ends up showing up on the same line because again, all white space in an HTML document gets displayed as single spaces in the resulting web page. Even if I added a bunch of extra lines after P. Sherman, it just gets interpreted as a single space. So if I want to have new lines, I need to put in BRs. I need to put in line breaks. So if I put in these BRs, I'll actually get a new line after each line, resulting in a nice looking address. Again, BR stands for line break. Lastly, we have headings. We've already seen H1, but there's also H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. And as the numbers get bigger, the heading gets smaller. So H1 is the largest heading and H6 is the smallest heading. These headings are nice if we want to put titles above paragraphs or just separate out the document with headings. So another nice thing is that since we can put HTML tags inside of other tags, also known as nesting the tags, we can apply multiple styles to, to the same text. So if we had the bold text, this is very important, I can add an I tag around the B tag, and now it's both bold and italicized. So to recap, we have P for paragraph, I for italic, the B tag for bold, HR for horizontal rule, or just a flat line across the screen, BR for a line break, and the headings H1 through H6 for large to small headings. Let's see these in the editor. So here we have a simple web page that shows the definition of the word dictionary that I've pulled from dictionary.com. Now, this page has all the information we need, but unfortunately, when we actually look at the page, it is just unreadable. It has all the information we need, but it's, it's not presented in a way that's easy for the user to see. So what we can do is use the HTML styling tags to make this page a lot more presentable and make the information easier to read. So I'm going to switch to code view just because it's easier to edit this code uh, actually typing than using blocks. And the first thing I want to do is I want to make some headings. So really I want, I want the, the word that we're defining, dictionary, to really stand out. So I'm going to make that an H1. And then the pronunciation. I still want it to be big, but definitely a little smaller, so let's make this an H5. And then we have a lot of the, the definition, some examples, and down here we have where we pulled the source, dictionary.com. I'm going to make that a heading as well. This one will be really small, H6. And 
you know what, let's see what that looks like. There we go, this is already looking a lot better. We see the word we're defining, how to pronounce it, and where it came from. Now we can do some stuff inside here with the actual definition. And notice that you don't have to wait until your HTML page is completely done to see the results. You can change a little bit, run it, change a little bit, run it again, make these really incremental changes to see your progress along the way. So next, I wanna stress that the syllable sh in dictionary is really the most stressed syllable. So let's make that syllable italic. And notice that I can put an i tag right inside the h5 tag, and then it'll actually italicize it. Sweet, so we have dictionary. Now let's separate out each of these paragraphs. So first let's make the you know noun its own paragraph. Let's make the let's make the actual definition its own paragraph. Hmm. So this is where the definition ends. And remember, if we put something inside of a tag that's multiple lines, we want to indent it over to make that clear. Then we have one example of the word dictionary, an unabridged dictionary. And then we have another example. Ooh, I don't know how that got there. Cool, so let's see what this looks like. So there we go, this is already looking a lot better. We see that the definition is separated out from the examples, and those are all separated out from the, the noun, the plural part of it. So, Lastly, let's make the plural form bold. And let's add some horizontal lines in between each of the each of the examples and the final source. Let's see what that looks like. Nice, that's looking good. Um, maybe let's add one blank line between the definition and the horizontal line. And there we go. This already looks a lot better. We can see this in the new window. And this is a nice looking definition of the word dictionary. So that is the power of using the HTML formatting tags. Now it's your turn to try it out.